My so-called life is sponsored by... How's it going? I'm Godless Sewing and this is the Godless Sewing Channel. So today, I'm going to be talking about how I scored a beautiful Singer 404 sewing machine. I found a grasshopper. I continue to upcycle my grandma vest. Plus, I have a question for you about ratty old denim. So as always, strap on, wear a helmet, and let's go sewing! This is a Singer 404 sewing machine. It was launched as a replacement for the Singer 301 and the 301A. It was made in Elizabethport, New Jersey. A lot of people think it comes from that famous Singer plant in Anderson, South Carolina, but the plant was closed by the time these were mass produced. This is the definition of a no-nonsense sewing machine, and to be 100% honest, this is literally one of the machines I look for every time I leave my house. My father owned one of these and and when I went through his hoardings when he passed away, I was shocked to not find it. So when I saw this recently, I was stoked. And because these are workhorse machines, this is the first one I saw for under a hundred bucks. I paid 40 bucks for it. I got it on sale day, but still, these machines are powerhouse. It is a straight stitch only, but you can make anything off of these machines so like i always say instead of talking about it let's go check it out All right, moment of truth. I'm not even gonna see if this thing doesn't work because this machine is an absolute beast. Oh, look at that. Of course, I forgot my scissors. <laughs> Look how perfect that is. This machine is from 1958, 1959, and it still works better than most machines made today. Welcome to the fleet. <laughs> like I always say, stay creative, keep sewing. Alexa, what's the temperature right now? Right now, it's 95 degrees Fahrenheit. By the way, during this busy time of year, I have Alexa, to... thank you. You're welcome. And thanks for the continued thanks. You just made this AI's day. So, I'm gonna show you how I make 1950s board shorts. I'm using an old ratty pair of shorts as my template. I'm gonna cut around it and start shaping, and let's see what happens. Ugh. <sighs> 
All right. So, I've cut one piece of the shorts. I'm going to use this and cut the other piece, put them together, and see how it comes out. So these shorts came out perfect. All I did was get an old pair of shorts, trace my pattern, and I went from there. And I kept going. I made quite a few pair of shorts. And the one thing I did was I broke one of my own rules is never wear anything that's the same complexion as you are. You either blend in, fade out, or end up looking like a floating head. But you know, that's up to you. Personally, I think these shorts came out perfect. <laughs> so, like I always say, keep sewing, stay creative. Oh, I completely scored. I think this is an Elena Grasshopper. I am stoked. And if anybody wonders where the mariachi music is coming from, ah, oh, Los Angeles is such a beautiful place. This is an Elena Grasshopper sewing machine. The Grasshopper sewing machines were only made from 1940 until 1952. These were considered the best selling sewing machines worldwide because of its free arm. And it actually gave Singer a run for its money. Elena lasted all the way until the 90s where it went bankrupt and the name was bought out by Janome in 2006. This machine is complicated. When I saw it a couple months ago at my thrift store, they wanted like $189 for it. And I slowly watched the value go down over the months, well weeks, as no one bought it. Today when I walked in, I was actually kind of shocked to see the $39 price tag on it. And I jumped all over it. I was really reluctant to buy this sewing machine because every Elena sewing machine I have ever touched came dead on arrival. So this one was no different, but it has a bunch of really cool parts. So like I always say, instead of talking about it, let's go check it out. So as you can see, the case is trashed, but that's okay. Because a lot of the time when I buy machines from the thrift store, they're missing the table or they're missing a piece. And this particular sewing machine actually came completely intact. So even though it's showing its age, that's okay. It still has its free arm. And when I turn it on, the motor still works. So I know what the problem is, but I was so excited when I got this that I was like, you know, I might keep this as a wall hanger. I don't know. I might fix it or it might go up on the shelf and just be part of the collection. But like I always say, welcome to the fleet, kid. <laughs> Stay creative. Keep sewing.
You know, I absolutely love mending. I'm one of those people that wears my jeans until they're disintegrated. But I have a question. Where is that fine line between trash and treasure? When do you stop mending your jeans? Personally, I don't care if I look like a boxcar hobo. It doesn't bother me. But I see Boro and Sancisco becoming more popular. And where is that line between, wow, those are art, and wow, those should be in the trash? Let me know in the comments. Sometimes I take my styles to extremes, but I want to know what you think because I'm all about patching clothes. So let me know what you think. All right. I've got my pins in place. I got my patch in place. You can see that these pants are absolutely trashed. So I'm going to start sewing. See how it comes out. You know, I'm still kind of in shock that I actually found what I was looking for. Something that's kind of rare in life. <laughs> if you've made it this far, I thank you. As always, reinforce your seams, be yourself, and I will definitely, definitely see you next time.